Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you how to replace your brake on your truck. This is a 2014 Freight Learner. Um, it has a different uh, type of brakes, but the process is similar, it's not much different. The brakes are bigger, but uh, the process to remove them is the same. So all you need is a big hammer like this, a screwdriver, uh, T10, this is a T10 uh, uh, screwdriver which is very useful for uh, installing the springs a small hammer and a pray bar <laughs> and this ratchet with a 11 millimeter socket or 716 and you need a big gun a one inch gun for your tires for your not on your tires so after removing the tire after removing the tire you have the drum so you have to use this uh, ratchet with the 11 millimeter socket to release the brakes so you have here your uh, uh, adjuster this is the lag adjuster and this is the adjuster of it so using this uh, this uh, socket with the ratchet we're gonna start it here and we're gonna go to the left to the left where you you can hear this noise you can hear that noise so that means then is uh, the brakes are being released so uh, now now that the brakes are being released you when I use the big hammer this big hammer to release the drum because so many times the drum is uh, stuck because of the rust and the snow and the sod and any other dirt then can go in it. So use the hammer to hit it right here. You so hit it right here, and then it will get out. It will release. So uh, after releasing the drum, you need to get it out. So putting your hand over here and putting your other hand over here and get it a little bit up and then drag it out to the uh, to the outside and then you can uh, really, uh, get it out. So, I'm gonna take it off. <coughs> now, you wanna inspect the drum for any damage. If you see any damage on the drum, replace it. If there is no damage, you don't see any damage outside and inside or on the, on the edge, uh, you can uh, reuse the same one and you're gonna see any groove here if you can see any groove if the, the groove is big this groove is okay but if the groove is very big over here then you can uh, uh, you can see it and touch it that means then you need to replace the drum anyway so now with the brakes we have the brakes here so now the uh, brakes are being released you they, they're supposed to see like this when they release the S, the S uh, bracket, the S cam uh, uh, chaff has to be like this. The S cam chaff has to be like this. So now, to release the brake, you have to remove these uh, springs on the back. These springs, and there is another spring here. So to release the springs, you need to use the screwdriver, the flat screwdriver, and the hammer. This is small hammer. So placing placing the hammer like this the screwdriver like this the screwdriver like that on the end of the uh, on the end of the uh, the spring and you hit with the hammer like this and it's gonna be out now it's out so the other side is the similar way. It's going to be the similar way. Now it's out. So uh, after doing that, you need to take the springs off, both springs off of the brakes. And then 
move this one so you can easily move the bottom brake so it's released and get the upper brake so it's released and then get it up like this with your hand here get it up and then get it out of there of this uh um with your out of this pin and then with your hand twist it like this and it will go out now it's out now you can put it somewhere where it's not on your way and now it's time for the new brace so now inspect uh, before doing that inspect for uh, your seal your wheel seal for leaks your scan for play your scan uh, shaft for any play and for any cracks on here on the pins on the other side so remove these pins because we want to place the new ones so place the new pins we have the new brakes here uh, before pressing the new pins I want to show you these brakes these brakes are 4720 which is a bigger brake than their older kind the 4702 which is it was very common so uh, these brakes are bigger as you can see they're bigger than the other ones so anyway uh, when I place these uh, pins these two new pins in the um, in these uh, bushings here so placing both now when I install the kit on the brake this is I already installed this one here but now we want to install this roller for the brake and this pin which goes right here the pin goes right here and the roller goes right here to install the roller you need to do is like place the brake like this and then get this uh, uh, this uh, spring and hold it from the other side with your finger like this hold it from the other side from me and, and get it in like this and now it's in position make sure that it's inside the hole the, so it can get uh, on place so now when I put this pin just put it on place here on this uh, little uh, orifice thing it has so put it there and then using the hammer when I hammer it like this when I place it like that when I place the hammer like this and then hammer it and now it's in make sure it's completely free so now then you know it's free you need to uh, put the spring you can put the spring and then uh, you need to place it like this now it's placed both sides get it up from here get the brakes up and then place them over there place the brakes you need to put one one brake here on top like this and the other side here you need to put it in on top of the pin here and make sure it's stable it doesn't get off so now for the other one you need to uh, get it down like this with your hands now it's on place as you can see both are in the same scam chaff 
now you need to put this bottom one the same way as the other one here and put it on place you see both are in the same place now it's time for the small springs for the small springs time for the small springs using this small screwdriver we're gonna place them so it's easy to place them so it is just to you have to put one right here and the other end you need to use the screwdriver this screwdriver like this and and just uh spray it like this now it's in make sure it is you can see it from the other side so now it's secure then place the other one here and do the same thing now it's inside make sure you can see the other end here so which is fine and now then you have this installed it's time for the drum to put it back so to put the drum is very similar how to you remove it so you remove it so it is just to get it nearby very close to there and then just place it I'm just gonna place it like this and then grab it from the from underneath with your hands and then just make sure then you align the same uh, marks from the uh, from when you remove it and then pretty much that's all so now the only thing you need to do is like to uh, put the uh, drum in a position that it's supposed to be place the tire back toward your put your nuts on place use your gun to tie them use a torque wrench to torque your uh, nuts to 450 to 500 pounds and then adjust the brake and you're ready to go so pretty much that's all to say about this i hope this video helped you and if you have any question i can answer in the comments and uh, have a great day